We continue our Patriots offseason coverage by shifting our focus to the Combine. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. You're going to head down, yes. head out to my Indy. My favorite <laughs> week of the year. Amazing. Better than the Super Bowl, I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. I'm not kidding. M may people might not be on the same page with no. you as far as that goes, but I know you're excited, so we're going to break yes. it down. Let's talk quarterbacks first. Who do you have your eye on? Well, Tua Tagovailoa is going to be the talk of the combine. Yeah. Whether his hip is, is good to go, mm -hmm. whether how healthy he is and how far along he is in his rehab. He just had a check-in with the doctors last week, and all things point to him being on the right track. He's not going to throw. He's not going to do any of the drills or any of the on-field stuff at the combine, but he will sit down with teams, and he will have that big, very important medical check where a bunch of teams are going to be able to get their hands on him, mm -hmm. their doctors, and really look at that hip and see what the long-term status of that hip is going to be as well as the short term and then two is hoping to throw sometime in april before the draft also listen i think as a patriots supporter patriots fan you should be hoping that that report doesn't come back too clean because if two attack of Aloha all of a sudden starts falling down that board a little bit the patriots are sitting there at 23 with a need for a quarterback yeah. of the future and they don't necessarily need that quarterback to play in 2020 because right. they'll have brady hopefully in 2020 to play there so you get to uh, you let them sit out the year and rest that hip and then you hit the ball rolling the next season in 2021 with a darn good quarterback prospect. Probably the number one pick in this draft if he's not injured and Joe Burrow doesn't go off for a whole year. And the combine's also obviously a time where quarterbacks can kind of increase their stock and impress which quarterbacks do you think need to have a really good combine to get some more eyes on them? Well, I think the biggest thing about the combine for quarterbacks is there's not a ton to take away from it because are you looking for a quarterback that can run a 4-5, right. right? It's not the same as like a wide receiver or a defensive back or something like that where you're really looking for these supreme athletes. But I do think it's important for certain quarterbacks that are going to need to rely on that athleticism a little bit in the pros to be able to make it in in you know in the in the pros in the NFL. So guys like Jalen Hurts, uh, Jordan Love, I think that those guys need to run well, move well on the combine and see something that you know those movement skills can really help an offense and be a mobile part of that offense on top of being a quarterback. So Hurts is a guy that is going to get a lot of buzz I think for the Patriots later in the draft, not a first round prospect, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe more of a mid round guy because of his football IQ, because of his act him in his makeup you know he's a true born leader and he's a guy that a lot of people have labeled for coaching eventually in the future so I think that he's going to get some buzz for the Patriots the question is 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 he you know a 4-5 athlete or is he more like a 4-7 or a 4-8 athlete that's what the combine will answer for us well for all the rest of our Patriots offseason coverage and all of our Patriots press pass segments head over to our website at clnsmedia.com